Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So this is Pramod and this is Comshare Network Plus Practice Test Series and this part is also very helpful to pass the Comshare Network Plus exam. So let's go to the questions. So this is the question number one. An engineer recently installed a new distribution switch and connected to servers provisioned with the following IPs 192.168.17.20 and 192.168.17.30. The servers cannot connect to the internet but they can reach themselves. The engineer observes that the distribution switch has the following setup. Interface VLAN 100, IP address 192.168.17.5 and subnet mask 255.255.255.0. The engineer is able to reach the core router 192.168.17.1 from the distribution switch. So which of the following is the most likely cause of this issue? Option A, the routing loop has occurred. Option B, the subnet mask is incorrect. Option C, the servers are not configured with default gateway. And option D, there is an important improper layer 1 connection between the router and the ISP modem. And the correct answer for this question is option C. The servers are not configured with default gateway. So let's check the explanation. The most likely cause of the internet connectivity issue is that the servers are not configured with, with default gateway. While the servers can reach themselves, a default gateway is necessary to direct traffic from the local area network VLAN 100 to the internet. The provided information indicates the switch and router are functional and the routing is likely configured but the client machines lack the proper configuration to send traffic beyond their local subnet. So that's why the correct answer is C. The servers are not configured with default gateway. So let's move to the next question. And the next question is which of the following best describes the purpose of an access control vestibule? Option A is to mitigate an on-path attack, option B to mitigate tailgating, option C to mitigate phishing, option D to mitigate snooping. And the correct answer for this question is option B to mitigate tailgating. So let's check the explanation for this answer. An access control vestibule is designed to primarily mitigate tailgating by requiring individuals to authenticate themselves before entering a secure area preventing unauthorized individuals from following, unauth following authorized personnel. So tailgating is a social engineering attack where an attacker follows an authorized person into a restricted area by pretending to be with them. So that's why the correct answer is B to mitigate tailgating. So let's move to the next question. The next question is a network administrator is switching to IP version 6 and wants to be able to use packet tracing software on the network to monitor traffic. The administrator wants to set up the IP addressing to include the MAC address of each machine that is connected. So which of the following should the administrator implement? So choose two out of these op options. So option A is EUI64, option B RFC1819, option C APIPA, option D DSCP version 6, option E SLAC and option F CIDR. And the correct answer for this question is option A and E. Option A is UA, EUI64 and option E is SLAC. So let's check the explanation. The administrator should implement UI64 and SLAC to ensure that the IP address is generated for each machine include their MAC address when switching to IP version 6 and using packet tracing software. So UI64 is a method of generating a unique 64-bit IP version 6 interface identifier based on a device's MAC address, allowing for easy identification and tracking. An SLAC stateless address auto configuration, this is IP version 6 addressing mechanism, uses the UI64 format to automatically generate IP addresses for device on a network, effectively linking their IP address to their MAC address. So that's why the correct answer is A. EUI64 and ESLAC. So let's move to the next question. Next question is a network consultant is working with a software defined network and is troubleshooting an issue with an application's instructions being properly translated for the network components. So which of the following is most likely at fault? 
ऑप्शन ए इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर लेयर ऑप्शन बी सेशन लेयर ऑप्शन सी कंट्रोल लेयर एंड ऑप्शन डी एप्लीकेशन लेयर एंड द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन सी कंट्रोल लेयर सो लेट चेक द एक्सप्लेनेशन द मोस्ट लाइकली कंपोनेंट एट अ फॉल्ट व्हेन एन एप्लीकेट एप्लीकेशन इंस्ट्रक्शंस आर नॉट बीइंग ट्रांसलेटेड करेक्टली फॉर नेटवर्क कंपोनेंट्स इन अ सॉफ्टवेयर डिफाइंड नेटवर्क इज द कंट्रोल लेयर सो कंट्रोल लेयर एसडीएन This is a software defined network the control layer is responsible for managing network traffic flow including interpreting application instructions and translating them into appropriate commands for the network switches if there is a translation issue this layer is most likely the culprit so that's why the correct answer is c control layer so let's move to the next question and the next question is a network administrator is creating a vlan that only allows executives to connect to a data source which of the following is the scenario and example of option is availability option b is a confidentiality option c is a internal threat option d is external threat and option e is integrity and the correct answer for this question is option b confidentiality so let's check the explanations a vlan virtual local area network is a logical grouping of network devices that restricts communication between different segments In this scenario the administrator is creating a vlan specifically for executives meaning only they can access the data source this is a clear example of confidentiality as the data is being protected from unauthorized access by limiting who can access it so let's move to the next question next question is which of the following is the best action to take before sending a network router to be recycled as electronic waste option is a turn on post security option b is a share the switch hard drive option c is a backup and erase a configuration option d is a remove the company asset tag id so the correct answer for this question is c backup and erase the configuration so let's check the explanation so why backing up and erasing the configuration is the best action so the security purpose a router's configuration holds critical sensitive information that could be exploited by unauthorized individuals if left intact this information can include administrator username passwords network credentials such as wifi network names ssids and password encryption keys virtual area network informations so that's why the correct answer for this question is c backup and erase the configuration so let's move to the next question Next question is which of the following is a major difference between a router and a layer 3 switch option a, a router can perform a pat but a layer 3 switch cannot option b a layer 3 switch is more efficient than a router option c a router uses higher speed interfaces than a layer 3 switch option d a layer 3 switch can run more routing protocols than a router so correct answer for this question is option a, a router can perform pat but a layer 3 switch cannot so let's check the explanations the routers are primarily responsible for routing packets between different networks they handle high level of higher level functions like port address translation pat and network address translation nat which are essential for internet access and secure communication across networks so that's why the correct answer is a router can perform pat but a layer to switch cannot so let's move to the next question So which of the following common agreements would a company most likely have an employee sign as a condition of employment Option A is NDA option B is ISP option C is SLA option D is MOU And the correct answer for this question is option A NDA So let's check the explanation an NDA is a legal document that protects confidential information from being disclosed by an employee to unauthorized parties making it the most likely agreement a company would require for new hires to safeguard sensitive business information so that's why the correct answer is a nda so let's move to the next question and the next question is a user is expressing network connectivity issues upon investigation the engineer learns that a user installed a personal router and switch to use for multiple computers in the department So which of the following has the user most likely introduced into the network? Option A is a broadcast storms, option B is a collisions, option C is a rock DSCP server, option D is a DNS poisoning. 
and the correct answer for this question is option C ROC DSCP server. So let's check the explanation. So ROC DSCP server is an unauthorized device on a network that assigns IP addresses to other devices, potentially causing conflicts with the legitimate DSCP server. When a user installs a personal router, it often acts as a DSCP server, handing out IP addresses to connected devices which can interface with the company's network. So let's move to the next question. So the next question is, a branch office is experiencing frequent power related issues that are taking the network down daily. So which of the following would best address this network uptime issue? Option A is MPLS, Option B is ISP, Option C is a PDU, Option D is UPS and Option E is a HA firewalls. And the correct answer for this question is D UPS. So let's check the explanations. The best solution for branch office experiencing daily network downtime due to power issues is a UPS. An interrupted power supply UPS provides backup power from the battery which keeps networking equipment running during blackouts, brownouts and power surge thus ensuring network uptime. So that's why the correct answer for this question is option D UPS. So I hope you are enjoying this video and this part has been completed. So study hard, good luck and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe the channel to see more video like this. I will upload next part shortly. Thanks for watching. Thank you.